I like that. What do I do next? My goodness gracious. 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 It's cooking hot outside, but it's even hotter inside because we got the latest gaming laptops from ROG. And it's not just one laptop today. It's actually not just two laptops today. I think there's some cool, crazy merch inside this box as well. What do they call this? Ultimate Fan Gift Collection. Yes, we have two gaming laptops, latest and greatest. I'm talking RTX type stuff. I'm talking RTX 3070 and 80 represented in a 16 inch gaming laptop and a 17 inch gaming laptop. These are the hottest things in the world right now. They're even hotter than it is outside in the Toronto region at the moment because they'll play all your games. I'm talking all your games. This is the Zephyrus S17. Go big, stay slim. That's what they say in the documentation. Holy cow. Look at this, look at this. They're giving me an experience. Logo, glossy, pull tab. They thought about the channel. Unbox therapy, okay, all right. Wow, I like that, what do I do next? My goodness gracious, my goodness gracious. You go up to the left, you go up to the back, triggering this mechanism which lifts the laptop which is also a precursor to the mechanism living inside the hinge of the laptop so you're getting a little foreshadowing for your purchase here you're feeling special you're feeling fancy and uh, exclusive for purchasing so yes it is actually fairly fairly slim rtx 3080 inside i'm tempted this is the only other piece inside the packaging that's going to be your power kit what you also can use it as a little stand what? Oh, I use I can use the box as a stand for my angle of attack. Get out of town. Multi-purpose? Multi-function? That's an added little thought right there. Extra cooling? It's a thought right there. This is your power unit, and we are looking at 280 stinking watts. The most important portion of any unboxing video on a fresh new gadget. It's going to be... The plastic unwrap, obviously. Oh, yes. Very nice. Now, this, I can tell you with the plastic on there, this is cool to the touch. We're talking metallic components all the way around. SSD times three? Holy cow. 11th gen Intel Core i9 11900H, up to 48 gigs of RAM. My model, I believe, has 32 installed. You have a choice of different displays. G-Sync enabled QHD 165 hertz, three millisecond, and a 4K 120 hertz option, three millisecond, 17 inch panels. You either go resolution or you go refresh. It's up to you, but it's kind of nice to see even 120 hertz in the 4K model because I do enjoy pixels. I do happen to be a pixel peeper, is the way I've been described in the past. And that's a fine thing to be, actually. It's totally... See what that there part number comes up with there. That is a 1TB, ladies and gentlemen. It's an M.2 Samsung unit. Holy cow. Get out of town. That is a... This is a beast in front of me. I don't know if you're going to configure it that way. You will pay a few dollars for such a thing. We have three 1TB NVMe M.2 SSDs in this absolute beast. Cowabunga. We also have uh, the most important characteristic, RTX 3080. And as we look around the device, we're gonna see a lot of opportunity for connection points. Two USB ports, a full-size SD card slot, which uh, as you know, uh, we use a lot around this particular studio. Our power input, a full-size HDMI port, Ethernet jack, another USB-A port, Thunderbolt 4 times 2. Oh, and you can charge over this Thunderbolt as well if you choose to. And then a analog audio jack is there as well. We flip up. Ooh, we remove. And how about the matte black finish on the inside? I tell you what. And you see how the keyboard comes into a nice ergonomic position on the lift. 
And we got a little key travel in there as well. I like this dedicated scroll for multimedia. We have our power switch up in this location here. Speaker units look to be along the back side. This is gonna help out with cooling as well. As I lift this up, you see how we actually create some space in here. Now the bezel is quite thin on either side and they have fit that front facing camera on the top edge. So I also like this little nub here for helping you lift the display. It's a nice full size keyboard. Number pad is there as well. Direction buttons over here. And this is like a, a smooth, almost like rubberized feel, but still cool to the touch. I gotta say, probably my immediate takeaway here is minimalist, which isn't always the case on ROG devices, but this can fit in, that can fit in for me. Like that can, that can find a home for me. It can do the RGB thing, it can do the, the gamer thing, but then it can also take it down a notch and do the executive thing. It's really got both working for it. That's the Zephyrus S17 GX702, but you know we got another box down there. Okay, so maybe not quite as cool, dare I say. You lift up this portion and then that lifts up the laptop itself. This one has that perforated back and likely this is gonna showcase certain graphics as it has in the past with their other devices. So the power brick did fit in here and it's quite a bit more slim. In this case, we have, wait a sec, 240, what was the other one? Yeah, 280 versus 240, but it does, man, it saves you quite a bit of thickness on there. It's still gonna be a dedicated DC connector, though I'm pretty sure you can charge this one over your type C connector as well if you choose. All right, plastic time. Similar finish going on, matte black, cool to the touch, 11900H, i9. We have one SSD and in this case it's a 512. So the other one has been spec'd maybe more as a workhorse as well. Like I can see easily uh, doing video editing and content creation as well as gaming with three terabytes of fast storage. So this one is the world's first QHD 165 Hertz, three millisecond display with four-sided super narrow bezels, a 94% screen to body ratio. I mentioned previously RTX 3070 with liquid metal thermal compound, which sounds fantastic to me, and a 90 watt hour battery with Thunderbolt 4 power delivery. They claim that the 16 inch display on this model is fitting into a 15 inch chassis. Your memory, it's similar, it's up to 48 gigs. Uh, depending on your configuration. So moving around the device, USB type A, a micro SD card slot instead of a full size SD like we had on the other one. Here's your DC input for charging, full size HDMI again, full size ethernet, USB type A, and then there are your Thunderbolt 4 ports, including the power delivery on this particular port. And then you have your headphone output at the very front, which is kind of nice actually. I just thought about that. You place that right there, now your headphone travel, you can use one of those short headphone cables and you're right there. It doesn't even have to reach over there. Okay, we lift it up and yes, it is very, very slim bezels over there. You have the similar action. And in this case, the keyboard portion is not exclusive of the remainder of the laptop deck. So when I lift this one up, the entire deck is elevated off of the surface as a whole. It also kind of jumps up in front of the lower bezel. So when you look at it at an angle, it's, the screen to body ratio even seems more aggressive than it is because the chin is completely out of view once this portion jumps up in front of it and it's able to dip down like that. Also, I'm noticing that this model has a tremendous range of motion. So normally on a gaming laptop, it's gonna stop around here, but this one just keeps going. So. We have our front facing camera up there, which they've had to shrink it way down. It also looks like it probably has windows hello. In order to get it into this tiny little bezel on the top edge. Keyboard, once again, super minimal, which I appreciate, but still full size. Of course, on this 16 inch model, there is no number pad as there was on the previous one. The last box for us to look at is the special box. 
I have no idea what is in here. It is a complete surprise. They call it the Ultimate Fan Gift Collection. The old box in a box trick. Look at this. Definitely for the ultimate fan, we have some special edition patches. We have mask covers? What? Chromed out stickers and a, a mask. I'll demo it for you real quick. Am I uh, Mortal Kombat ready? Oh, look at this, dear ROG citizen. We got a special messaging and signatures from the important people. Uh, we have a hat as well, Republic of Gamers. Okay, and what is this, a towel? Because we're getting all, getting all fired up mid-game. So I can pat down mid-competition. Very important stuff, the ROG towel. Wow, that is exclusive right there. Oh, wait, there's more than one thing that fell down in there. Couple of extras. Mo's gonna be a fan of this. This is ROG playing cards. Mo never misses a playing card. And a little message here from ROG. Our mission by innovating products that offer an exceptional experience for gamers, we can create a world without limits. It's like got like this eight bit kind of style to it. And ooh, I like it. It's like an eight bit style. I mean, we got the rocket ship king to the moon, of course. It's like some of them are classic, but then a few of them have some different design elements to it. That's a cool Joker card, look at that. Last but not least, ROG building block. Whoa, get out of town. We're talking little Lego-like building block. What do I build? What do I build? Oh, tiny nubs. Interesting. What do I build? Oh, it's gonna be an ROG logo, I bet. Cool! You gotta build that for the B-roll now. 